Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rusty Mart. It's been a few weeks since I did a video, or longer. Running behind as always. Update on the YJ. We got, uh, been putting a lot of accessorized on, on this rig since the last video. Uh, we got the windshield post on there. Don't have the windshield yet. It's coming next week. Got the old, uh, old heck handles here. Hang on. Hang on. I'm fixing to try something. Handles. <clears throat> so, uh, I think y'all saw the dash back in there. We're making up a template. My cousin is for a console. <clears throat> I got to get all this cleaned out and get the seats in here so we can measure in between the seats. But this is the beginning of a wooden console he wants to make, kind of customize it a little bit. <clears throat> got a, uh, <clears throat> what is that? Oh, rear view mirror. Um, got some new fender flares on it. So, we changed gears on this and we took the the plastic pieces off. These steps here are coming off. So he decided to go with this setup and then we're, he's gonna put a, a a step down here like a rock climber, climber type step. <clears throat> <clears throat> so changed the little gear there. Got the Wrangler emblems on there. I'm not sure if I had those on last time or not. Uh, we got this latch off again for painting purposes. I think y'all saw the spare carrier last time we got it on. Um, got some lightage up here. We actually, the painter missed a spot up here. We had to, we had to take this back to the paint shop and get it repainted again. And, uh, anyway, got it on here. Got some lights. On here, don't have them wired up yet. Uh, got the uh, new winch on it and the LED light on the front. Oh, I ain't even seen this. My cousin put this on. Got the American flag behind the grill. Now, he had a red, white, and blue one. Didn't look good with the green, so he changed gears, went to the black, and this is much better. That looks great. I like that. First time I saw it, actually. Uh, so yeah, we got the uh, we got some blinkers working. I'll show you how we got them wired up. <clears throat> and then the LED tail lights. Got those. I still got to put the hazard button in, or I turn them, <laughs> turn them all on. That's that working. And that one there. So I've got all that part done. Got all the clearance lights on the side, LEDs on the front. Those are really going to be bright. Got all that. And, oh, trip, tail lights there. Got a reverse light, should be working. Yep, backup lights working. <clears throat> and I'll tell y'all any, um, Anytime you deal with LEDs, whether it's the tail lights or the any kind of LED light, grounding is vital. Grounding is very important. <clears throat> it is, um, it, just make sure you got a nice shiny ground, very, very clean on the LED lighting because it matters. Um, so, the old bulbs, you know, you could 
you could bolt on a ground wire or it, it a, lot, a lot of times it grounded by the chassis itself on a rusty piece of metal and that filament just worked well led is not like that <clears throat> it has an external ground wire that, that's on the the lighting that comes on it and you really need a good shiny clean ground uh, when you're installing those just a word of wisdom there <clears throat> but anyway it is coming along it is looking more and more like a jeep we're excited about it we're going to be even more excited when we get our wheels and tires on there stay tuned for that i know i've probably shown you a picture of it of the tires but it's really going to knock your socks off when we get them mounted on here we're having stickers made for the jeep indention here and stickers made for the side of the hood which is normal and uh, i think that's really i think you're really going to like that that's going to look nice i'm not even going to tell you what color or what we're putting on there yet because it's really gonna look good the green and black just really goes good together it really does and this is uh <clears throat> i know i probably mentioned it before this is a later Jeep color. It's the newer Jeep color. I think they came out in 2018 or 19, Sarge Green. This Jeep was originally white. And we totally changed the colors. It was white with tan interior, tan dash, tan seats, tan roll bar cushions, and totally changed the color concept, sarge green with black accent, black interior. Just wait till you see the seats. You're gonna love them, they're really nice. So <clears throat> it's uh, it's coming along real well. It's just, uh, we both work full time and it's just been uh, working at nights, weekends and that kind of thing. Um, so uh, we're thrashing on it, trying to get it done. It's a kind of a hit or miss project. Some people can hit a project like this and hit it every night for six months and knock it out. This has been <laughs> almost a two year project, to be honest with you. Since the, um, I can go back and look at my pictures since I picked it up at his house and brought it to my house. Um, it's, it's been about a two year project, really extensive. And the thing about Jeeps are there's so many parts to them. Oh my God, there's so many parts. Everything on boats, and you got you uh, you don't think about it until you take it apart. But you know you you run across all these boats, all this stuff, all these boats here, boats here. You know windshield comes off, cow comes off, your wiper sprayers come off, these little pieces come off, hinges come off, door hinges. And the list goes on and on. I mean, there's just so many little pieces to a Jeep, <clears throat> which has been a challenge for us <laughs> for, <laughs> for keeping up with parts. And I really, really, really thought I was doing a good job with keeping up with bolts and nuts and zip locking and labeling. Well, some of those bolts and nuts went to the paint shop to get the heads painted. So we're still looking for a couple. I got two big bolts and a, that bolts in the top of the roll bar here that I'm missing. Um, so I've got a, I got a few more bolts that were, we, we've been struggling. I mean, we have been struggling trying to keep fine stuff. And <clears throat> at one time, and it looks like a disaster. There's the, the, the half doors, but I had this Jeep stuff spread out from here down to here and <clears throat> And we still got junk from here to here, and it's just hit or miss. And I, I, I've got to rake all this out and clean this whole side of the wall and organize it and find out what's what, make sure I didn't drop a boat or whatever. We've stomped around in here and, and moved stuff around, and it's been a challenge. And we get boats in boxes like this and this, and they come back from the body shop and <clears throat> and they come back, you know, well, this is kind of a really good idea for painting purposes, you know, on the side of a box. 
you know, that works well for the painter. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot, a lot of little pieces. Man, it's really been a challenge. We got a new Alpine stereo, got some new kicker speakers going in it. Um, just, it, it, there is more to come is what I'm saying. We, <laughs> we've got more to come. This is, this is just part of, um, progress. I kind of feel like we're kind of over midway. I, I kind of feel like we're over midway. It's just a lot of little stuff we got to get on. I've got a steering arm to get on. We got to undercoat the underneath. A lot of stuff like that. But anyway, y'all stay tuned and uh, more videos coming up. Thank you much.